All right, ladies and gents. Ooh, starting a series off on Arabia. What is it, 2017? This used to be the standard, guys. Game 1 was always Arabia. Uh, recently, the trend has been that Game 1 is essentially a neutral map, which is actually much more fair, I think, and I like that. But in this case, neither player banned out Arabia on the draft and whatnot after their picks. And we've got Game 1 between Rapard and Hope. Now, I'm going to explain who these players are, and then we're going to get to the matchup, because this whole tournament, World Rumble 2, it is designed around uh, giving more opportunities for the next generation, or if not the next generation, just players who are not at the tippity top, right? Um, Rapard is a Russian player who's been around a long time. Majority of players have been around a long time. I remember him back in 2015. But he's gotten really good the last few years, uh, and he's very aggressive at times. I would say he's quite an extreme player. That's how I would describe him. And he did play in Titans League qualifiers. Um, he did play in even the Hidden Cup qualifier, but I don't think... I think he made it into Titans League gold once. So he made it into the top 48 there. And I forget if he stayed alive in gold or not in Season 3, honestly. I, I think he might have been relegated. But he's, he's really solid. And then you have Hope. And Hope, uh, his actual name you may see from him in-game is Bottom Right. I, of course, have no clue what that says or... Nor can I say that. But this is a Vietnamese player. And I think this guy is insane. Like, he is really good. And the thing about him, like a lot of players, is he reached very big heights on, like, ranked. But then started signing up for tournaments and was kind of struggling with the mixed maps, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But he's at a point now where this is maybe year two of him really signing up for a lot of mixed map tourneys. I think he, his ability, like the way I would describe him is he is like a lesser version of Veleza, Vietnamese edition, which to me means on Arabia, he doesn't do anything fancy. He is on the town centers as quickly as possible, and his eco is insane. And he's going to need that here with the Franks up against um, the Hindustanis. The Hindustanis are a really nice matchup here against the Franks. Faster attacking camels, great against the the knights that the uh, Franks player is going to want to go for. But I don't think it's a Civ win by any means. I do think that the Franks can go, they have arguably a better economy. They can maybe go for knights in combination with pikemen and castle age and make it tricky. But it's probably going to be scouts here. So Hope's name translates to light bar, really? light bar hmm. someone says t90 have you ever bm'd in a match have i ever bad mannered in a match uh i have yeah way back in the day i had some i had some frustrating ones where i you know, ran around with vills and hit him in corners and crap not recently no <laughs> not recently i mean I, I could be wrong i think maybe everybody's gotten frustrated in the game and gone a little bit too far but like again back to what we were saying before i've never like freaking gone off and you know insulted mothers and you know I, maybe that's not the extreme that you were thinking of yeah i just i've gotten salty and back in my early like my lower elo days hidden some vills and i may have i may have done the classic you might have beat me but it's because of your sieve you know i might have done something like that 10 years ago or something like that. Two lumber camps here for Rapard. Again, the expectation here is scouts. The map is really, really good for him. Map is pretty good for Hope as well, but I think he has to work a little bit harder to lock it down. So. <laughs> what's what's wrong with your mama jokes? I guess that's true. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm not, not trying to judge the yo mama jokes. But leave my mama out of it, all right? She's a sweet lady. But yeah, um, just back to the players again. Rapard had a frustrating experience in Hidden Cup qualifier. He was actually up against... He was on the other side of uh, one of the bigger upsets in the first round. Because there's this guy... There's another player from Russia named Antagonist. And I think, like... I think he's going to get better, honestly. But he's, he's like 2100, maybe 2200 rated. 
He was up against Rapard in the first round of Hidden Cup qualies, best of three. Rapard was up by 20 vils in the first game, and Antagonist all in him and came back and won. And then Rapard won game two. It went to the third game. There was a crazy mud flow game. Rapard killed 10 vils, villagers and lost zero, but the opponent ended up getting knights out before him and won the game. If you saw Mudflow in Hidden Cup, you know what Mudflow is capable of, so. Uh, that's the most recent tourney performance that comes to mind with her part. I forget if Hope signed up for the Hidden Cup qualies. I feel like he he probably did. The thing about the Hidden Cup qualies is there was, there was $10,000 in the qualifier itself. And that's why I feel the level was so high. And why we saw so many people competing. Because it was like no longer a situation where you have to have two excellent two or three excellent rounds in a row then qualify then get into the money but you win one round you get 150 bucks and i think it really showed in the preparation rapard's just going to want to play play this safe here because he's got a good matchup for later stages also a really nice map um i like if he's going to wall this way i don't mind it because you just you can delete those walls later on, and you can come out here if you want. Going for the full walls, it doesn't feel like something that's necessary here. Hope beat Tamate and then lost to Barls in the qualifier. Okay, what was the score when he played Barls? Didn't he win the first game? I actually remember that. That was on Mudflow, and that was uh, Kamur against Franks? Yeah, Hope took a game off of Barls. That's sick. I think Barl's won that 3-1. So Scouts and Spears engaging. This is all right next to Rapard's base. Rapard takes the fight. Interesting engagement to take there. Kind of tricky to break down exactly how those fights are going to go. But we actually have quick archer transition here from Hope. Wow. The so Hope actually has very little on food because of this compared to a normal build. Because he's gone range, which is basically the resources of, for three farms. And villagers on gold instead of the farmers, right? So he wants scout archer pressure big time here. Which could delay his castle age, but obviously could apply a lot of pressure here. And Rapard might not be expecting that. Our base, I remember these things because my brain is... My, my brain struggles to function as a normal human. Like, but Age of Empires? I'm all over it, man. Actually, one of my favorite things that I wish we could do more frequently, chat, is if you just set a Civ matchup, and I try and remember the, the... I try and remember the oldest game with that particular Civ matchup. Oh, God. So, at NAC, the last NAC... Nilly and I uh, and some others stayed up drinking the one night very, till like 6 a.m. And no one else was partaking in this challenge. I, Nilly and I were just sitting there chugging away and going back and forth on Civ matchups. So I'd be like, okay, Aztecs versus Britons. And Nilly's like, oh, I remember uh, 2014, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes Nilly and I would think of the same exact matchup. It was fun. Armenians versus Gurjaras. Don't be boring. That's it. That's new. You see how Rapard wanted to wall this? This gate looks hilarious. <laughs> this area is clearly under construction. Wow, look at this. Look at the army investment here from Hope. This is like... This is going to be awkward for Rapard. He thought that this was just going to be a scout war and, and then this would go into camels and knights, but that is not the case. Good pressure here. Someone says Huns versus Huns. Huns versus Huns is cheating because there was like thousands of games. Right? Like, I remember Huns versus Huns games from like 2003, but I didn't like actually cast them live, so well, I guess not casting casting them live doesn't necessarily matter. But I remember like a Doubt Chris game, Hun v Huns from 2003. Hmm. Look at Hope run through there, just seeing what his opponent's up to. Crazy. He's gonna break through. He's gonna have forging here. His archers don't have fletching, though. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Big deal, actually, that those archers don't have fletching. But if they focus down the spears, it could still be fine. Forging's gonna be in in 10 seconds. Or scouts are on the way. Uh, this could be okay for Rapard, actually. Wow, Rapard is able to clear it up. Wow. That was so close. Do you think you could name the original civs who are in the game at launch? Yeah, I think I could. But okay, so someone says Franks vs. Britons. Okay, let's see. Franks vs. Britons. Franks vs. Britons. Franks vs. Britons. Franks vs. Britons. Now, ideally, I would be able to name a tournament game. That way, you guys could fact check me. Or it could be a video that's on my YouTube channel. I'd have to remember the players. Oof. Oh, man. Big fight here for Rapard. No fletching on the archers, guys. And the scouts have armor and bloodlines. So this is actually a really nice fight for Rapard. Hope was so close to getting the damage he wanted there. But Rapard was able to hold. And now Rapard has fletching on his archers. I feel like Hope just forgot fletching. Or just didn't get the timings right. And Rapard's killed two vills. He's right on top of his opponent. And the annoying thing here, guys... Hindustani stable units, as we were reminded in the community games yesterday with 10 times stack, they have a bonus against uh, buildings. So these scouts will actually destroy this stable rather quickly. And oh, there's another villager here as well. Oh, this is so smart from Rapard too. You just bring one scout. You don't need all of them. Yikes. It looked so good for Hope until it didn't. Okay, Frank's Britons, Frank's Britons, Frank's Britons. That should be a good one. I remember a Loey the Legend game, Frank's Britons, back in 2019. It was like my first month of Loey the Legends. Uh, where this guy was trying to build a castle on Highland. And the other guy cleared up his army and was passing across the 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 uh, water. I think the clip on Twitch is he didn't know. It was early Loey the Legends, but... That's not far enough back for Frank's Britons. I've got to... Uh, I've got to go back further than that. I'm so disappointed in myself. I was so confident. Hope is going to be up a little bit faster, by the way. He did just lose that stable. This pressure from Rapart is perfect. Rapart sold his stone. He might buy it back, but as of now, he's not planning on dropping TCs. He just wants to go camels and crossbows here. And I, I don't know what you're supposed to do right now if you're Hope. He needed a better fight. Rapard has just stomped him here. Aztecs Vikings? Ooh, okay. Aztecs Vikings. Hmm. I remember... Okay, I remember a Hidden Cup 3 game with Aztecs Vikings. It was Hera Doubt Series. So that would have been Katyan against... Who was Doubt in that? Was he Princess? Katyan against Princess Yodit. It ended up being Berserks and Jags. Yeah, this is just a fight that Hope has to take. He's hoping that the Knight numbers could get here and do damage before the Camels arrive. But the Camels are here already. This is just so bad for Hope. Oh, man. He's got no hope. GG. Dang, what a quick game. I mean, that was ruthless from a part. It was so close, though. I think if Hope had Fletching on his archers and, you know, had an extra scout or two, maybe he could do damage. The problem, I'd say, from Hope is he was being aggressive here instead of here. Because what was happening is, and I can actually show you. Um, go back. Okay, look at him try and reinforce here. So these units... All of his units, as they need to reinforce, they can't really come this way. They have to loop around, right? It might seem like a small thing, but it takes him, and he did that multiple times. It takes him a long time to get into this position because he has to loop around. Actually, I think pressuring the stable area, which is near your opponent's production, and then where you have a hill, that's the better area to pressure. I think that might have... If he even felt like he needed to wait for upgrades, it gives him an opportunity to back away then towards his base. Here, he couldn't do that. And Rapard with the nice scout upgrades there and the nice scout numbers after realizing the aggression from Hope uh, gets the job done there. All right, so finally, 
we have a very unique map here. We've had pretty standard maps so far in our cast of this tourney, but a lot of you guys have probably not seen this before. I believe this is Dune de P Pilat? P Palais? Pilat? I don't know the final part. Oh, P Palais? Dune du Palais? I, I don't know how to say it. Um, this is a, an interesting one. We've got Rapard playing as the Incas over here in the east. And then in the west, we've got Hope playing as the Lithuanians. Now on this map, in the north, there's fish. But this terrain can be traversed by land units. So scouts, spears, archers can all go out here as well. So, so there's plenty of snappa. Uh, I don't know how much this golden stone is going to play a role when there's so much around. But usually it's the fish in the north. And then usually it's all the aggression through the center. There's also a hill on the center, which looks very nice. Down here in the south is where you have a lot more stone if this game goes late. Hope went to wood rather early here. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if that is because he wants to go out and try and dock. And Rapard is expecting the early dock. And he's actually brought his eagle here, which is really smart to deny that dock. Really hard to quick wall a vill here too. You actually can't wall in your vills to take fish because there's no shore fish. So you'd be taking this fish anyways. And then this rock terrain you cannot build on. So basically if you get spotted and you're not expecting that here in your hope, this could be brutal. Let's see if Rapard goes back. Because he hasn't scouted much of his own base. He's basically hoping to kill the Dockville. Let's see if he goes back across here. Uh, doesn't look like it. Hills matter a lot. Terrain usually doesn't make a difference. But if you have the hill, you are receiving 25% less damage. And you are doing 25% more damage. So hills are really important. So as you can see... Right there, Hope is trying to get to the hill. I think Hope is taking this fight to weaken the eagle, and then he's going to run away. Basically, he doesn't want this eagle to be strong enough to kill his villager in Dark Age. I'm never a big fan of trading away scout HP, but I think that was the logic there. I'm also not a fan of losing vills. So, yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's precisely why he did that. That was actually pretty smart from Hope. So it's, it's a hybrid map, right? We're going to see Navy, uh, and then we're going to see units elsewhere as well. There's the scout there from our part. Okay, we're doing the Civ matchup challenge. Trying to remember specific games. Maybe I shouldn't focus on going back as far as possible. I should just think of specific games on a Civ matchup. Okay. Um, Eagle is attacking fishing ships and being annoying now. Okay, someone says Tatars versus Mayans. First thought was Viper versus Hera in, at NAC on Arabia. Tatars Mayans, that one, I think that was NAC 4. I don't think it was NAC 3. Um, That one just came to mind. That also was Doubt Leary Finals, which I see Arbase just said. In Red Bull. Red Bull 3. Byzantines Franks. Oh, Byzantines Franks is tricky. I can think of a lot of recent ones. Old Byzantines Franks, though. I mean, geez, I remember a game I played in, like, 2018. Byzantines Franks. Against a Colombian guy. Um, I forget his name. I just remember he was a Colombian guy. <laughs> Sorry, Colombia. Colombia. <laughs> I think we might see a second dock and some fires from both of them. It would feel very natural because they both know the other's fishing. Uh, any other matchups here? Someone says Incas versus Celts. Incas versus Celts. Ooh. Incas, Celts. Tato, Huang, 2019. Just when DE came out. Huang was Huanging with tons of militia. And Tato went Vilrush and Towers. Aha! That's a fun memory unlocked. That was fun. Yeah, Vilrush with towers. Back when villagers got the armor and feudal age with the Incas. Ooh, wow. Scouts are very weak here. And Scout does survive. Hope knows about Rapard's dock. He also did find these two sheep and is going to get make it home. But, you know, I think this eagle actually becomes less... Use this, this eagle is, is less... 
uh, gets less utility from here on out because it doesn't get faster in the next stage. And Hope makes like one archer, or one one scout actually, and this eagle always dies. Game one was uh, Hindustani's Franks. And Rapard took a pretty big fight before Castle Age and snowballed the game pretty quickly. So there's a second dock from Hope. So Rapard is actually looking to see if his opponent is adding a second dock. This is interesting now. He's looking. He sees the fish. But he doesn't know about the gold being mined, and he doesn't see a second dock. So I think what Rapard's game sense should be telling him right now is that his opponent is not going to docks at all. Now, if he sees the gold, it's different. Okay, now you see four on gold. And I think you start to question it a little bit. It's actually going to be three docks for Rapard. Wow. So, I had the opportunity to see some practice games from some players on this. I, of course, I'm not going to uh, spoil, like, who which players we're talking about or whatever. But I do know that, like, some players seem to think that going water on this is overrated if you go like because land units can go here you go like scouts with a really good scout civilization you could kill the fish and kill the fires really early these guys clearly want to value that navy here but it is three docks against two but we do have a barracks here for hope He's investing his wood into that. We'll probably see an archery range after that. But so far, Rapard is mopping him up on water. Now, I think Rapard doesn't know about this dock yet. He's going to find out in a moment. Actually, he doesn't find out. But he probably doesn't want to run into a demo. And the villagers hammer away. I wonder if having a T90 repair animated emote would make sense. Just villagers just bopping the ground. <laughs> It'd probably be a little stupid. It's an idea, though. Here comes the demo. Split up, Uzi. Nice. That's not too bad for Hope. I don't know why I said Uzi. Uzi played in the previous series, but... Sorry about that one. Fun fact about Uzi, by the way, I thought it was like, oh, he just wanted to name himself like really cool. You know, he just wanted to name himself after a gun. That's a gamer thing. Uh, his his first name is like Uziel, by the way, which I think is so cool. Like I named myself after a freaking shoe. I don't know why Uzi's still on my mind. Fire's engaging. A demo right now would be sick for Hope. Hope needs to repair as well. He's not doing so. Oh, that's that's a bit sloppy, but the demo connects. And the demo gets the clear. That's huge. And now you notice Rapard did scout with that eagle. And Rapard saw this. So now you should know there's going to be archers on the way to your base. Where did Uzi scout go? God, I would have put that bad boy on auto scout and just let it ride. We could have scouted a lot more of the map. But both players have had their four fishing ships. There's a barracks here for Rapard. But that doesn't necessarily mean he'll build the archer range there. Demo for Rapard killed two fish. Archers are soon going to be on the way. There's the range now for Rapard in defense. Hmm. Do people actually still think that I named myself after a tank? Lazy Loot Crasher, you've been here a long time. You should know. This is interesting. I think Hope spots this and Hope is immediately paranoid. Also, of course, they're distracted here. Still producing on water. Hmm. You know, sometimes as well, you get baited into thinking your opponent's just going to defend with skirms if they scouted you. And he did see that Rapard scouted him. He's going to build the market. And he's going to be clicking up here soon. Rapard is at least transitioned into farms, which is good long-term. And Rapard has the four fishing ships, so res collected should be better for him. And Hope showing a, a bit of lack of confidence here with the archers. Just, it took him some time to get here. And by the time he's going to get here... Well, first off, he doesn't want to run into the TC. Which he does do. 
TC kills an archer, and now there's three skirms, and this is disastrous for Hope. Ah. He had two archers on the field before Rapard had even finished his barracks. And he was moving out, and then he went back, and then he went back, and then he finally went forward, and now the skirmishers got him. Nice. Yeah, the the T90s were sick. I actually have I have like three pairs. I have two of them in my streaming room <laughs> because of the the inspiration for the name. Wow, Rapard with some great engagements. Rapard actually kills the Vil. Rapard kills all the archers. Both players trying to mark it to go up, and we will see Hope go up. But you cannot wall this whole area, right? So the Skirms and the Eagles here could be really awkward for Hope to deal with right now. But if Hope can kill the fish from Rapard, I'd feel better about his situation. Seems like Rapard has kind of given up on water right now. He's focusing primarily on land. Yeah, I can... I can understand why people would assume when they find out my name is Tristan that I was born in 1990. What do you think sounds better though? T90 official or T93 official? T90 official sounds better, I would say. But also, it's you know been my brand for a while, so maybe I'm just used to it. Skirms and, and eagles just being microed around, hoovering around the base. Hope is, is really struggling, and this is where Rapard thrives. Rapard loves the aggressive games where he could be picking off units like this. Hope normally thrives in, in the more relaxed games. Part isn't really producing anything here. He might just drop TCs in the next stage. He did lose all of his fishing ships. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what makes me official. The reason behind the official in my name is basically... So, so things have changed a lot over the years, right? At one point, tournaments for Age of Empires were only able to be covered by one channel, which was the actually like hosted by the the platform that people use for age of empires called voobly and voobly had a voobly official channel so i was trying to decide on like what do i name myself because i was i was t90 xvi for a bit and i was like well the official sounds nice and i had other ideas that had like empires in the name and i don't know i remember there was a list but uh as Hope just... Oh, man, he's just losing some vills. It's it's so scrappy here. Oh, man, the Skirms could finish off like three or four more vills. Yikes. Eagles so weak. The Eagles on 2 HP. Get him. Get him. Get him. Got him. That's still pretty doable, actually, for Hope. Hope was over here as well at the same time. Sorry I missed that. Explains the sloppiness. And at the end of the day, this is just an army of skirms. You should be able to deal with this. But yeah, so I just named myself T90 official, and, and that was the end of it, so. I was going to do T90 empires. <laughs> but I just didn't, I don't know. It just sounded a little cheesy. Three town centers for Rapard. Both players really have to adapt with their eco a bit here. But the crossbow opening from Hope, it, it does feel like the the timing is not exactly what you would want, right? Five crossbows right now? That's not the number he was looking for. Lost a lot of archers in feudal, right? Does have the potential to fish, though. Is doing so right now. Eagles for a part. Sniping a crossbow there. Monk might get a conversion. Nice. That's really nice. And that's going to lead to another crossbow kill. Couple fires looping in from Rapard out of nowhere, though. Hope thought he had the fish locked down because he's all over the docks, but those those uh, Rapard fires were saved for later. So that's annoying for the food eco from Hope. This game might go late, guys. It is very likely this game goes late. Hope could be on three TCs soon. Rapard snagging the relics, though. Getting them away from the Lithuanians is really smart. Yeah, the fact that Rapard is no blacksmith upgrades right now and has accomplished what he's accomplished is wild. Meanwhile, we have Bodkin Arrow crossbows. But eventually, 
You're going to need to get some upgrades here if you're a part. He goes TC number four. Still moving around with some eagles. Some monks. Crossbows are going to force some type of reaction. Rapard will add in more eagles here. We don't have any knight production yet from Hope. I think Hope is hoping to go into a castle, maybe. Go for Latus instead of knights. And Rapard loses all of his military there. Maybe reacting to this. He's going to have some eagles. He's going to have some monks. He can defend from this. He will show the monks. If the opponent does not attack the monks, he just keeps following them, of course, and sends in eagles. If the crossbows go in towards the monks, he'll just back away with them. So just a situation where Hope needs to leave. And Hope is TCing the hill. Huh. I, there's something very satisfying about that. I mean, you could eventually castle there as well. Oh, no. Can he, can he complete this? He should be able to. Yeah, and I think Rapard also realizes. Rapard taking a risk here. That's not where you want your monks to be. Resources collected, higher for Rapard. But look at this from Rapard's perspective. His opponent has the hill, and everything else is darkness behind this. This is not a fun position to be in. Actually, if Hope can deny the Siege Workshop, Hope might drop a forward castle, too. Because, like, right now, we have not seen enough eagles from Rapard to really scare off even low numbers of crossbows. Rapard has just been so, so greedy. I mean, he's been greedy, but he hasn't. Like, his eco's still not that crazy here. Here are the Vils. If the Siege Workshop was completed, you would never do this. But the Siege Workshop is not completed, and there goes a castle. Hope even bringing forward more Vils. I love that for Hope. I don't think there will be enough Eagles for Rapard to ever stop this. And then Hope can make... He can make Latis, which is perfect against the Eagles. What on earth are you supposed to do right now if you're Rapard? Like, players are pretty far apart from each other here. So counterattacking is really tricky. He is going to do that, though. Took him some time to get there. Castle will shoot down villagers. Uh, the TC eventually, and then all these villagers are exposed. I think the reason Rapard didn't go for Siege was because he showed his opponent Eagle, and his opponent had low numbers of crossbows. I think he was like, why would my opponent ever continue to make crossbows? That's stupid. And guess what? His opponent continued to make crossbows, and it looks kind of foolish now that he didn't continue to make Eagles or make the Siege. Ooh, this could be a Doubt Castle? Oh, he can't see it. That's unfortunate for Hope. At the end of the day, though, a castle here is not going to upset you if you're Hope. This is a castle that Rapard has to place, not a castle he wants to place. And you, what you do is you just sit here, and then you do everything you want behind this, like losing a monk there, getting a relic. <laughs> uh, but yeah, add farms, add eco. Here comes Rapard trying to find raids. Now, the latest are going to go forward. So, the latest are not going to be able to defend Hope's eco, but Hope still has town centers. Hope could still send a couple latest back. And the TCs have bought Canero, so it's messy. I like what Rapard's trying to do. I really do, but Hope continues to move forward. And guys, it was just one bad engagement from Hope. Otherwise, I felt like game number one was actually pretty nice from him. Latest will engage against the monk. Oh, he kills both monks. The one was weak and the other one gets shot by the crossbows. That's sick. Oh, man. And Latest are just so, so strong. Like, this unit is insane. I, There are times I look at certain units in the game and I'm surprised that they exist. Latest is one of them. They're so freaking good. Uh, compare, and then you look at the Lithuanians and some of the other bonuses that they have. This makes it such a smooth sieve to play. Crossbows are kind of the forgotten units at this point. They can go down, and the latest just spread out, and they are wrecking. They'll ignore armor. They get extra attack for every relic that's collected. They also attack a bit faster than a lot of units, a lot of cavalry units. Couple cameos coming out here for Rapard, though. 
This is T90 Farm Central. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, Rapard. All right. I mean, normally I'd ask if you're a big fan, follow the stream, consider a subscription or something. Uh, but, you know, Rapard says, instead of that, how about I show you in my gameplay? So thanks, I guess. Latest will clear up the Eagles, but they are costly. Monks go down there for hope. And that's a bit sloppy from him. Probably should stop producing... Uh, at this point, I would say he should stop producing crossbows. And hope has not clicked up to the next stage yet. Rapard is on the way to the Imperial Age. It feels like Rapard's going to build up Trebs with a bunch of pikes or Kamiooks. And try his best to uh, take out this castle. Hope seems concerned that those eagles are going to counterattack him right now. I'd love to see outposting from him. Rapard has done that. I like how Rapard has the vision here with these buildings. To know exactly what's coming his way. Latus and crossbow. Having some leftover crossbows is always nice against pikemen or kamayook. But I'm not sure Hope really wants to take this fight. Yeah, that's a lot of military. This is where you just have to say, okay, this isn't working. This is fine. We just go up to the Imperial Age now. The Latis are actually just going to avoid this area and dive in. This is good too. Just use your mobility. Here he goes. If he gets quick walled out... The units are going to be waiting for him out here, but Rapard doesn't get the quick wall this down quite in time. The latest get through. Man, is that annoying. And Hope back into the eco again is going to find even more villager kills. Remember, Inca villagers are affected by infantry upgrades in Castle Age. So these villagers are armored. Still going down. And that's exactly what you want. That's the latest dream. Oh, no, and Rapard goes for a counterattack, and there's a new castle for Hope. There's Latest waiting. Yikes. All of these eagles will die. And the Latest that ran in, they make it away. So you've chased that whole army, killed none of them, lost son tons of vills. And now, just 90 seconds away from Imp is Hope. He's still got his whole army. Latest ignore villager armor, though. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Look at me. I'm like, hey, guys, uh, this unit ignores armor. 30 seconds later, I'm like, hey, guess what? These villagers are armored. I'm so... We, we all have our moments. I think the most natural play here is uh, chemistry. And so I'm noticing Hope just needs a little bit more on wood, actually. His eco is set up perfectly to make latest all game. Anything that's food and gold is perfect. What he is not set up for is dropping like four ranges right now. Um, Latis are ignoring the villager armor, like we said, and the villagers are getting slaughtered. 50 vil lead right now for Hope. He's just going to give up this castle. He's not even going to try and fight this one. That's smart. Drops a castle here, gets chemistry, and Rapard was protecting his trebs on the front, expecting the Latis to be there, which is understandable. And now he's getting massacred in the back. This is, this is amazing from Hope. I love how he splits up the units. I love how he always seems to get away before the the enemy units close in. Let's see if he does it here, though. He has got he microed this group away. Here he's taking some losses. They are Kamiooks, but yeah, he should be able to survive with some of them. Loses his castle. Only 10 latest. There's 21 Kamiooks for Rapard. Rapard is Trebs as well. If he had like four Trebs and made a move for this castle right now, this would be his time. Archer arranges for Hope as he's about to complete chemistry. And Elite latest is on the way. Oh, and even more villagers have been killed here. I mean, Hope is just destroying him. Hope is playing so good. Also, if Hope could snag this relic... That monk is on the way to get that relic. That would be a, get more attack on the latest. Yeah, and there's no way you beat hand cannons and elite latest if you're Rapard. So you need to take care of the castles. You need to push quickly. 
And remember, this hill was a hill that Hope TC'd. And he's controlled it ever since. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. He might survive, this monk. I doubt Hope is looking there. The TC's got trapped down, so the villagers had to leave. The latest are now killing them. <laughs> monk is on the way. Monk might get the relic. 71 villagers killed by Hope. He's only lost nine. No! He doesn't deserve to burn. He's a man of God. Okay. No final relic there for Hope. But now the hand cannons are out. Still makes it a little tricky because you still have to engage against the traps. But I think as long as you bring the hand cannons here, a lot of the Kamiyoks will die and the latest will do the job. I think we are moments away from seeing the GG fight. Oh, he just fights them anyways. <laughs> he says, I don't care about you freaking Kamiyoks, for I am latest. And GG. Yeah, it didn't. I don't think the hand cannons really fired a single shot there. And of course, Trebs are going to get sniped. Hope wins the game, and we have a very even series here. Woo! Game one again was Arabia. This game, a bit more complicated. Nice shot from Hope and Castle Age, guys. Like, it felt like Rapard was, was booming. Oh, God, there were more latest back here as well. It felt like Rapard was booming, but he didn't really have a lot of military going for him in Castle Age. Um, and maybe that's because, you know, maybe that's because uh, he, he miscalculated. Maybe he felt as though with the distance, it was really hard for the Incas to, to really get over there with something important. Like random eagle raids could be less realistic against knights, for example. But uh, either way, I, I really liked how Hope macroed. I liked how he microed and controlled the game. And this is the hope that I was hyping you up. Hype for Hope. Uh, two to one KD there for Hope. Ties up the score one one here. And more of every resource. Great scouting too. Just a really, really good player. Welcome. Game number three, ladies and gents, here in this qualifier for World Rumble 2. And we we actually have Pilgrims in a competitive tourney here. Uh, again, like I said, game three. But this, this tournament has Pilgrims in the map pool. And uh, we've got Spanish for Rapard. We've got Persians for Hope. If you know Pilgrims from community games, you know they start on the island. I don't know what these things are, by the way. Apparently, they're just there. You can't do anything with them. Sorry, donkeys. You start with the transport ship. Uh, here is not regicide, though. Okay? So they're not able to... Um, because it's not regicide, they're not able to snipe any kings. And there's obviously no diplomacy with this being, with, uh, this being a 1v1. So Rapard transports to TC here. And then Hope transports to TC here. And they leave some villagers on the starting island. I say they leave some villagers on the starting island. Looks like Rapard is just going to leave one. Now my prediction here is that this one villager is the house and then dock villager. We'll see how the players do this. I actually think it's a little awkward for Rapard. He needs the house. He misclicked. He misclicked. Okay. He needs the wood, and he needs the house before the TC is up. There we go. Because the TC gives you five pop space, but he can't produce vills because he doesn't have the house yet. And so he's just going to get loom. And yeah, then he's going to click up. I hope scouting right now with this transport ship. And scouting here with the sheep because they don't have scouts. But fish is really plentiful in this map. So I think this might be a map where we just see uh, like two docks in Feudal Age and players compete for water. But with the Spanish being here, if Rapard can get enough food, Rapard unfortunately can't see the board, but if Rapard can get enough food as he gets housed again! Ah! Um, I think Fast Castle Conquistador could be sick here. Uh, Spanish are so good with fast castle builds into conquistadors. And there's enough food around. There's deer. He'll find another boar here. He might eventually see this boar. So that's three boars plus some fish plus some sheep. What will Hope try and do to stop him here? We haven't done pilgrims in a while in community games, I agree. 
Noticing berries could be a bit awkward for Rapard. Not that you necessarily need that, but he's just found it over here. I'm really liking how compact things are for Hope here. You know what I think? I, I, you know what I think Hope needs to do, okay? I'm going to tell you this, and then it's never going to happen because that's how my brain works. Okay. You need to kill the Spanish fish, right? That That's like a given, right? You kill the Spanish fish with a fast feudal. And then you full stonewall the map. I know it sounds crazy, all right? But think about it. You're going to be up against conks, most likely. So you kill the fish... So they don't have that food income. Makes it more difficult for them to make conks long term. And then you like stonewall here and you stonewall here. From what he has scouted, I think that's very realistic. And imagine if he stonewalls between the water and then Rapard docks here and makes a transport and sends the conks across. <laughs> also, I have no clue why donkeys are here. I don't know if maybe we need to ask for clarification on that, but I don't think they do anything, guys. This is a... Tr I think there's some maps where these can be like a trade unit. I'm pretty sure that AOE4 used this concept. Any AOE4s out there? Tell me if they recognize this. I'm pretty sure in AOE4 they have like trade donkeys like this. This is from the Age of Empires 2 um, scenario editor. There's units that aren't in normal games. But I don't think you could do anything with those donkeys. Rapard is definitely going fast castle. He's bringing in another boar. He's adding the... He's added the fourth. He's adding the fifth fishing ship. So he's just going to add as much eco as possible. Now Hope has used the transport ship. And Hope knows that this is where the dock is for Rapard. So he's going to add the second dock. If I were him, I would just go... Uh, two galleys, kill the fish... And then you have to stonewall. I'm telling you, what's going to happen here is this. He's not going to stonewall, and he's going to die to conks, okay? Because the conks get in. That's just my prediction. I've seen it so many times, dude. So no one here with any AOE4 perspective. Anyone here play AOE4? Or have you played AOE4? I, uh, I played it um, for a bit. I gave it a shot. It wasn't for me. I'm not expecting the majority of you guys to play it, but... Because you are here watching AOE2, after all. There's always going to be tough to, to beat AOE2. With AOE4. Yeah, Gilgamesh, it's true. The castle player can petard the walls. However, petarding the walls is another... That takes more time, and that, again, is food and gold. So, actually, just thinking about this... There's only 100 stone now because they spent resources on the starting TC. So actually, Conquistadors is going to be trickier here than a standard, like, Nomad game. Played it, immediately came back to AB2. Cool. All right. A little surprised that Hope is adding more fire galleys. This alone should tell him he's winning on water, but I mean, this will guarantee he wins on water. The alternative for him would be to instead make fishing ships and bring in lots of food quickly. I would be worried about conquistadors. He drops the market here. We are not seeing Rapard on stone yet, so my conquistador callout could be incorrect. We see market blacksmith. He's fleeing with his fish. That's nice, because you might be able to get away with some of them. I hope immediately thinking about Castle Age after this. Getting housed? Is he making a house? Hope? Oof, this is rough, actually. Been a little sloppy. Still not being able to produce out of this TC. He's basically gone Loom and Townwatch. Solely because he got housed and didn't rush a house down. So he's down two vills from where he could be because of those two upgrades. But obviously those upgrades are helpful. T90, do you dream about AOE2? All the time. All the time. At least like... I would say I... 90% of my dreams are Age of Empires 2. I know that's sad. 
maybe, but that's the reality. <laughs> uh, very frequently. <laughs> uh, and I dream... I dream a lot, so I'm a dreamer. Uh, I dream almost every night I sleep, and every single dream is all Age of Empires 2. It's usually me playing a game, and I, from Dark Age all the way to Imp, I'm just in the dream. And on mornings that I oversleep, those are the games where, you know, we're, we're getting fortified wall, we're getting masonry, we're walling between choke points, we're prepping for the late game, we're getting our blacksmith text. Oh no, he's got hustlers in my eco, I must send halbs. I send halbs. I'm gonna go raid him with my, with my condos, because I'm Italians and I go raid him. And it's back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And then eventually we go down to the last tree, the game ends, I win or lose, and then I wake up and I'm like, crap! I slept through my alarm. I'm being serious, guys. Like, if I were to speak to a professional about this, they would say I have a problem and I need more balance. I'm not kidding. Almost every dream is AoE2. I'm not being sarcastic. So, where's this castle gonna go for Rupard? Okay, funny side note, okay? So, during my break after Hidden Cup, I started to play this other game, this chill hunting game called Way of the Hunter, okay? And basically you just hunt stuff. The night after I started playing that game, this is a true story. I haven't told viewers yet. I had a dream that I was hunting in the woods with Mr. Yo and Dash for whatever reason, okay? So Mr. Yo was with me and we were talking about Age of Empires and I was asking him questions. And then Dash was there too. And Dash was all, like, Yo was in the same jacket he always wears at these events. But Dash was, like, suited up. He had, like, the hunted hat. Like, Dash is Dash. Of course, he's going to have the wardrobe, right? So, yeah, we were just creeping through the woods. But I kept talking to Yo about Age of Empires. So, yeah. Uh, it happened. I don't really, we didn't, like, shoot anything. There was no hunting involved. I just remember that. I woke up and I told my fiance, I'm like, you're never going to believe this dream. And of course, every time I say that, the dreams are never about her. <laughs> it's never like, oh, yeah, we moved to Portugal, you know, on the coast. And we, you know, we, we spent so much time together. No, it's like, no, babe, listen, I was in the woods with Yo. Okay, Dash was there, too. I'm not sure what was happening. And we were hunting, but talking Age of Empires. Yeah. So Hope did kind of wall up like I wanted, right? This is really smart thinking and has water control now. Now, there is still a transport for Rapart. It's going to be hard for him to use it. Oh, God. Very risky situation there. But he could technically transport around this wall here. I wonder if he looks for this transport at some point here soon. Now, he could make petards to bust through the walls, which is what someone suggested, but that takes time, that takes resources, and... That's time and resources you're, you're spending not making conquistadors. But it's like, what do you even make as the Persians against the conquistadors? They have really crappy monks, really crappy skirms. I would say camels, if you can get the hits, could actually be decent. But camels still get shredded by the conks. I think Hope wants to surround these. And for lack of a better word, I think he's hoping... That husbandry allows him to chase down these conquistadors. I am concerned for him. Here he is. Rapard sees this. And he sees the petard hope. But this is what I mean. Sure, the camels are faster. But the conks still kind of shred you. And then there's a monk to get a conversion. You just can't get in close there. I would have loved to seen a, a wall that was further forward. Solely because of how dangerous conks are. But I think he's played it pretty well. And this is just really hard to stop. Petard takes down most of the wall. Kongs can break through the rest. Hope tried to place houses to stop the Kongs from getting through. That's not going to happen now. And the Camels are going to hope to come in and surprise with engagements. But Rapard has the monks there as well. Rapard has played this perfectly. And like, you're just stuck right now. Economically, the Persians have a great start. Great start but it... So many civs struggle against this play from the Spanish. I do not know what to suggest from here. 
Except to say you have fish. Or maybe you can make something happen. Because you can make more units. But there is a thing. If the units are so valuable that they're always getting kills and never dying. It's kind of okay for the player in Rapard's position whose economy is not as great. I like this. Walling and everything because the camels <laughs> came to raid. Maybe Hope could expand his fishing economy even more. He's adding a lot of fish. I actually think Elite Skirm. As as bad as it is long-term with Persians, I actually think Elite Skirm is really good. I think maybe Camels and Elite Skirm. Or maybe, you know, if we can go back in time, maybe instead of going Camels in the first place, maybe some Skirmishers in general. But you can see when the Camels actually attack, they eat the Conks. So that's what he's hoping for. So in low numbers like that, that that shows you. But when the monks can convert your buildings now, it really forces you to react because you either engage against this and you lose two camels or you don't engage against this and you lose your market and you lose your houses. There's no real area that Rapard needs to focus on beyond this right now. He converts the market, he converts the houses. Now, maybe we see an engagement from Hope, because the monks can't convert his camels, at least. That would be the thinking here. Oh god, wow, those conks run underneath the TC. That was a little risky there from her part. T90 was listening at the TV, couldn't respond yet, but about your dream stuff, what your experience is called the Tetris effect? I frequently have the same thing, look it up, there's a wiki page for it. Dude, I sh don't say Tetris. I'll probably dream about Tetris with Yo and Dash next. Don't give me more games for my brain. God, there's nothing more satisfying than seeing someone convert houses and then having the other person get housed. <laughs> I love that. It's very satisfying. Hope can't produce out of his TCs, his stables, his dock. All because of that. Now, Rapard has gone a little far here. Rapard could actually be trapped. Oh my god. And where's he going to run? If he thinks he's going to get trapped, he's going to run to the shoreline. Yo, that could be really sick. Oh, man, the camels, though. I, I just don't know. I think especially with this little choke point. Oh, there's a castle now. Okay, interesting moment. Castle foundation could be shot by the conks. Here go the camels. They will engage. He wants to get the castle up. Now, the conks will run potentially to the shoreline. If they do, they could get demoed, but they're just backing away this way. And Hope is trying to stop the escape. And Rapard builds his own house and then is going to delete his own house. That was a great play. Wow, just a lot of tiny details here from both of them. It was really smart in this game. But guys, Hope's economy is flying compared to Rapard's, and let's not forget that. That was a good enough trade. He killed quite a few monks. He's killed some conquistadors. And now he's protected. And he has all these villagers back here. Rapard hasn't had any fishing ships. Rapard is... Is 5,000 resource... <laughs> 5,000 resources behind with resources collected. And he has to play catch up in that regard. Yep. Conversions will come in. And that's what Rapard needed. He needed to keep the monks alive. Maybe converting the buildings was a mistake. I still think Conquistador Monk is really good here, though. I think the score is a... It's, no, the score's not a bit deceiving, actually. It's a 30 eco lead right now for, for Hope. Rapard is four on food. Yeah, the balance is not exactly there. But the, the map control is. Hmm... Someone says Jackie Chan had that effect. He played too much Tetris and had a dream about his head being a Tetris block. Really? <laughs> That's a very specific statement. <laughs> so, I mean, what do you do from here? I mean, you're walled. You have a castle. It feels like Imperial Age would be the next goal here for Hope. Hope is actually out of gold. Wow, what a fun game. Now, actually, he's not out of gold. He could actually take this gold if he remembers that's there. But he cannot afford to click up. He is escaping, though, to TC this gold. Oh, man. 
Rapard, how did he let that happen? Rapard is going to be through again, though. Boom. Petard's through. Conks are here. These farms have just been added. And Hope is getting hit again. And again, you just feel for Hope. Because you're just wondering, what more can the guy do? If you were to look at the stat screen right now and see the res collected, it'd be unbelievable. The Petard does just get used on the camel there, which is kind of funny. Monk gets a conversion and will now die. But this is that e that precious farming eco that Hope wants. And Rapard is using this time to add those farms behind. Now, he's got some real T90 farms today. It actually gives, gives me hope. Not like Hope the player, but you know. You, you get what I'm saying. Villager's just constantly idled in the TC, out of the TC. You look away for a second, you're going to get slaughtered. And Rapard is bringing this game back. It looked like after he got trapped or... Not, not fully trapped, but after he lost that initial group of conks that he wasn't going to be able to do it here. The problem with having so much eco for hope is there's so much for these conquistadors to kill. Somewhere, someone's saying, yeah, that's why I idle my TC. That's why I don't produce bills, because then my opponent doesn't have as much to kill. Don't want to boost my opponent's confidence here. Yikes. I still want to see Skirmisher. You do need food for that, but... Sometimes it's just easier for you to just spam the unit you've already invested into and just add farms. So, like, he's probably stuck in that frame of mind. Adding more stables there. Hoping the fights improve. This is the second market that Rapard has converted now. Rapard has three markets. I'd like to point that out. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> There's still a monk. <laughs> There's now a new market for hope. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. The monk can't convert yet, but can't, will be able to soon. But he's not going to hunt down the market. God, he's going to go for conversion. This is, this is, oh, God. Rapard's brought it back. Rapard's going to win this game. Rapard is going to win this game. Just, Camels is just not the play against monk and conquistador. Maybe, maybe against just conks. But I cannot but feel like this little this little escape oh might give uh, Hope a shot. Look at these farms, bro. Does Rapard see this? What? He doesn't see it. Well, hey, with how he's placing farms, he might place a farm on it pretty soon. Hope. 25 fishing ships, by the way. Getting rather inefficient out here. And the camels come in from this angle to attack. Rapard will react to that. And you have to run, hope, yeah, run the other way. Do not run towards your castle. Yeah, that's what you do. You take the fight, you force the Kongs back. Castle goes up, it gets very interesting here. Hope's starting to lose houses. Hope loses a villager. Rapard's going to actually build a monastery here. Hope is going to try and escape, maybe get to the castle. But Hope is up! Hope is up to castle! And he can still take gold. Oh, he's up to imp, rather. Hmm. Well, Rapard does the right thing. Guys, if you see a castle next to your castle, just idle production and go imp. Usually. Okay, it does depend, as I'm sure you all know, but... Hope is going to go for Trebs. He can't really afford that many. Rapard just stopped the build production and says, I'm going to go up two. And now can just camp this gold. And Hope is so distracted by this still. He's probably reacting. He's maybe looking at his fish and changing efficiency things there. And he's gonna... He clicks light cap now. I mean, he has a lot of stables. I actually wouldn't mind light cap raids. Light cap raids in the back of Rapard's eco could be a problem for Rapard. Rapard only has one castle. And that's important too, right? Rapard only having one castle essentially means... Here come the scouts. While wow, Rapard's monk controlling has been really good here. He might actually get conversions on these. Wow. But yeah, one castle means that he's gonna he's gonna really struggle for conch production, and he only has six. Light cab will kill these monks. Conks are coming this way, but hope will get another TC up, and what a great game. Who wins this game, guys? Pick somebody right now. Right? This is this is for everything. All all the pride in the YouTube comments and here on Twitch. See a lot of people saying hope. All right. 
Well, he doesn't... He's struggling to have the resources for everything he wants to do, but his first treb's gonna be on the way. Conk's here. Dive in. Kill Vils. Nice job from Repard. 41 on food here for Repard. It would be very realistic for him to go Halb. Or his own light calf. He's dropping stables now. Never had a stable, so never had bloodlines. So he's a couple steps behind as far as that's concerned. The opponent would be prepped to make camels, but his resources are looking really nice. It doesn't have to be just Conquistador for him. He's going to try knights. Ooh, now he's pop capped. Keep in mind his eco's next to all of this. There's the first castle here from Hope. And, man, Rapart is such a pain. These monks, those villagers. Hope actually going for the TC first. I don't like that. I would be going for that castle, but he's going to drop ranges. He's going to drop stables. He, I think, is still in stabilized economy mode, which is hard for us to see sometimes. Blacksmith upgrades need to be flying in for both of them right now, ideally. Quite a few monks out there for Repard still, and he's gone for monk upgrades too. This is the... This is the the majority of the golden come for Repard. I say the majority. He's still got gold back here, gold back here. Okay, so I'm wrong. Monks are a problem. Light cab was the right idea, Hope. Hope is now also going to build an outpost here to see what Repard's doing. Why knights from Rapard? Probably wants some mobility. He feels like he can convert the camels. I'm with you. I would go Hal, personally. Um, but I, I can't control monks like Rapard can. And I'm sure you can't either. So I think that the, the idea here is knights are just the stronger unit. They can finish the game faster. Monks can convert anything that's a problem. Hope now we're pairing. But yeah, the camel heavy camel upgrades in for Hope. But if monks are there, he can't take engagements. Repard no stone, by the way. Hope is just going to treb the opponent's trebs, and we will have a bombard cannon as well for Repard. Blacksmith upgrades coming in from both right now for their calf. This game has been incredibly close. Best game of the series for those that missed the earlier games. Camels are just waiting to hop out of the castle to kill any knights that go in. But what do you do about the Bombard Cannon? You show your camels is what you do. And if you show your camels, the monks are waiting. And Repard, sick stuff. But the Light Cav do a loop-de-loop. -loop. The Light Cav loop around from behind. The monks, they weren't prepared, but the Light Cav are blocked off. And now I think Hope just has to engage, and he does. He only has one treb. Oh. Really bad engagement here for Hope. The Bombard Cannon's made such a difference here for Repard. And Repard now has Monks around still for those camels. Couple Conks, which is never going to hurt. His castle's still up. And everyone who said Hope. He's like, what? Cavalier or beating camel? <laughs> but look, see what I mean? How the monks just command so much control over this area now. Also, I, I again, I gotta applaud Repard for his consistency with his raids earlier in the game. And, I mean, he was 50 bills behind. Crazy stuff. I still think it's a little stubborn not to be going for Halb here. Especially against this many camels. But he's taking the fight. Hope is, of course, going to take that fight. It's Camels against Cavalier. He'll take it every single time. And TC will get trapped down. More Cavalier in queue here for Repard. But Hope is, is going to have lack of map control here. Villagers are exposed in different areas. Here, he will lose a bunch of villagers. Here, he can lose villagers. Still Repard, always paying attention to the front. Having enough units to protect the monks in most cases. Lots of gunpowder in the mix, too. The gunpowder is actually the biggest problem, and Hope knows that, and Hope calls the GG. What a fun game. The most created unit from Repard is actually the monks. But Repard was 50 villagers behind, and Hope tried. Like, he went for Lightcap, still couldn't get to the monks because they were protected by conks or whatever. 
And he went camels for the conks and still didn't have an answer. I think skirmisher, I, I, people here right now are going to say, well, you got to go skirm then, right? Well, here's the issue, okay? And this is why it's a tough matchup for Persians. If you go for skirmisher, what do you do when your opponent adds one mangano? With some sieves, you can make your own monks, you can go for redemption, and you can convert that Megadon. But if you don't have uh, redemption, if you don't have that possibility, your skirms just die to the composition still. And it's really, really tricky. Rapar did a nice job making it messy. Rapar did a nice job giving himself time to expand his eco behind. I just think Spanish are easier militarily Persians are better economically, which we saw in this game. We saw the Persian player get ahead economically, and then Spanish player just dominate. It was a very close game. That puts Rapart up 2-1 in this series here. And uh, guys, if you see this later on on YouTube, uh, this, is, this whole series will be on the extras. It'll be in the video description. Uh, the extras channel always gets the extra stuff if you want more content and more, more casts. I felt like this was a really good game, right? I've seen some of the Pilgrims 1v1 games in this event qualifier. I, it, it hasn't, they haven't blown me away. Some of them have been kind of crap, to be honest. This one was great. Again, Rapard's Monks. He had 28 conversions from 28 Monks, and that is not including all the healing that he did in that game. I don't even know if that, if that counts the buildings he converted. Does anyone know? Because if that doesn't count the buildings he converted as well, multiple markets, like... I remember a game from Rapard last year where he had over 100 conversions from like 40 or 50 monks. He's just an insane player with monks. But of course, he had conquistadors to back it up and everything else too. So, uh, GG. And we move on. All right, so if you watched game number one, that was a scout matchup. And what happened there was we saw quite a bit of scout pressure from uh, Hope. And then he mixed in archers really early against Rapard's walls. And Rapard caught him out. Rapard surprised him. And then Rapard pretty much won the game from there. The game did not go on much further. Uh, here, it's not going to be easy to wall. Especially if you're Rapard. Because Rapard doesn't have wood. There definitely seems to be a, a difference. A slight difference in the accessibility of wood. Which is always meant to be the case here. It's always meant to be really tricky to get wood. Um, we've got Gurjaras for Rapard. He's up against the Magyars, and Magyars are one of the best, maybe the best civilizations at going for lots of scouts. Um, yeah, basically think open map, lots of pressure potential. That's the best way to describe this map. But yeah, they're just... I'm definitely looking at Hope's map and feeling like he could make things happen with some walls if he wanted to, right? Like, I think a, wall, a lumber camp here, 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 all those lumber camp options are really nice. We'll see if that changes his approach, though. The other thing about the map is there are 11 relics on the map. Uh, and those 11 relics can be uh, great later on. Uh, we sometimes see Aztecs or Lithuanians on this map because of the relics. Hope actually won with the Lithuanians on an earlier game. But I want a game 5, man. I don't know what the map would be if we get to a game 5. But these two are really evenly matched, I would say. And Hope was... Hope... It's unfortunate for him he lost the previous game. How many people would be frustrated with how that previous game went if you're Hope? And it could potentially affect your mindset. I don't... I think... If you're human... And you knew you were 50 vils ahead in that previous game, you might be like, Oh, come on, man. Come on. Yikes. I think we do have... I did think we do have some bets happening here right do we have yeah people bet here with the currency i believe vapor trail nice to see you man glad you could make it thanks for such a long time of support <laughs> t90 normal trees look nicer for casting i know but i didn't do it in between games i'm sorry this is total like first world problems um and like age of empires problems but I wish that I could have certain mods on for playing and certain mods on for casting. And I asked Capture Age, and basically the answer is no, I can't do that. So that requires me to 
disable mods, add mods, restart games, and I uh, I have not done so in between games yet, so. Skills do. ACCM vs. Doubt is actually tomorrow. I got my schedule wrong, so if you are free tomorrow, that should be, I think, 15 GMT. So that's good. Uh, we didn't miss that. I just got my day wrong, so... Yeah, technically I could do separate accounts, I guess, for like casting and for playing, but that's another that's another thing I gotta do, you know? My life is so hard, guys. My life is so hard. I have to walk to my computer, sit down, talk into a microphone about a video game. I mean, it's just brutal, right? I, I don't know how I could survive. <laughs> I've got it pretty good, all right? I can complain and still recognize that I'm very grateful for my situation, okay? Doesn't matter where you're at, you're going to have issues in life. My issues relate to freaking mods. And every time this game has an update, there's 16 other things wrong with it. The patch they put out last week has a very obvious bug, and I can't believe they implemented it into the game, but they did. But I guess they fixed other bugs, so. Who is the biggest pro you ever took a, a game from and ranked? Uh, Viper. But that wouldn't... Viper was, like, definitely trying to masterpiece me, so I don't consider it a real game. Uh, games that I... Players that I beat that actually took it seriously and weren't trolling? Uh, Sato, Veleza, Nikov... Uh, Doubt. I actually wonder-dropped Doubt's face because he wouldn't resign against me. He was probably... I, I Doubt might have been a little bit more trolly. He was just playing very defensive. But yeah, that video is on my extras channel if you want to see that, so. Alright, so scouts is the plan. Shocker. There's actually no sheep underneath the TC here for Hope, which is a bit weird. Oh, and the camel scout finds him as well. This is the dream start for Rapard. He gets to chew up with all that extra damage here against the scout. Oh, man. Your first scout is basically completely taken out of the picture now. That Camel Scout for the Gajaras is so good. T90, if your fast feudal build order gets interrupted by laming, what are some ways to get back into the game? Just add an extra vill and add a farm or two if you need it. That would be my advice. Don't try and like squeeze out an 18 pop build order if you've lost resources by to the lame. Add an extra vill or two. The person laming you will have a weak scout and... Think about every time you've tried to lame. Are you executing perfectly all the time? No. You have to remember your opponent is, is if you're at the same rank, they're the same skills as you. They are likely making some mistakes along the way. So. That would be my advice. Here comes Rapard with scouts. Hope going with archers. Huh. I I'm really surprised that he's going with archers here, but... Maybe he feels like Archer... Maybe Scout's against a Civ that can make camels and feudal. And have that camel scout. Maybe he thinks Spearman Archer is the way to do it instead. It should prompt Rapard to consider some skirms, I would say. And there's the range now. Yeah, laming can be tricky, so... Um... I never beat Hera in a ranked game, but I... I can always say that I was the first person to beat Hera on the Definitive Edition. Because when this game was in beta, Hera had never played the beta yet. And so I played Hera with the first time he was playing beta. And I was sh explaining some of the stuff to him. And I clapped him. I destroyed him. Sure, he didn't know that Shift Q was a thing yet. And sure, he might have been missing a couple hotkeys. But I wrecked him. But, yeah, I mean, obviously it wasn't a real game. Will I remember that and bring that up forever? Yeah. Absolutely. Have I brought it up to Hera before? And he said, of course you remember that? Yeah. Okay, archers haven't really moved forward yet. And the longer you wait to do so, the more likely it is skirms are going to be prepared. So maybe he expects the skirms are prepared because he scouts it here. Yeah, he saw that, and he will actually go scouts now. Ooh, I like this. I really, really like this. 
And so you're playing back towards your bonuses with the cheap scouts. Archers can be out there for any spears. And also, Repart is right now, he's kind of in the dark on this. Repart is waiting for your archers to come forward. He's really paranoid. He's like, man, my wood is really exposed. Repart definitely wanted to wall and be secure. And he's waiting and he's waiting and he's waiting and he's waiting. Repart also adding one archer, which means he can't get fletching for the skirms, which is interesting. Look at him chase. Hope has done a great job here. Hope is a tricky player for me because he is able to go back and forth between like really defensive play. This is funny. Uh, really defensive play and really aggressive play. A lot of players aren't like that, right? A lot of players are like aggressive every game uh, or defensive every game. And so I've been in Rapard's position where I'm just like, okay, he's playing defensive. He's playing archers. He's going to wall. And you're just like, all right, I'll make skirms for the archers, and I'm good. And then out of nowhere, you get surprised by something. He's also super sneaky, too. Like this here. This could be an opportunity. And Hope's going to hit this. And this is honestly something that Repard, though, it's just the lack of scouting from him. It took him so long to move forward. And now he moves forward. Now he sees the stable. Now he denies some things. But he's got units that are going to break through this wood line. But at the same time, currently there's no defense right now for Hope for this area right now. And he's got a lot of villagers that need a job. So they're job searching at the moment. Villager got killed there by a spearman, it looks like. Hope's going to shift back around. Now, in this army, there's three things that are really a problem for scouts. The camel, which is actually full HP. So he added a new camel. Ooh, we have feudal age camels from Repard. Let's go. All right, so the camel's a problem. The archer's a problem, and then that weak scout's a problem. So Hope doesn't want to deal with that. I actually would assume that's the weak camel from before, and I might fight it. Good awareness from him. He towers there, and now he's pushing forward at Repard's base. Hmm. Villager here. Boom. Two villagers killed from Hope. Hope will probably be massing an army to eventually deal with this, or he just simply just uses the tower to defend there. Good engagements from Hope. If Hope finds this woodline, this could be horrible for Rapard. We have a game five. He does not know that woodline is so far for Rapard. It's actually helping him. Wait, it's going to hurt him. Oh, it's going to hurt him. Oh, it's going to be a massacre. Hope, you want to go up the hill here, I think. Ooh, okay. House wall attempt from Rapard. Hold on, hold on. Skirms for Repard. Good fight. Hope hasn't killed much yet. Nice job from Repard. Repard's also here at the same time. Hope is to pull away Vils. Hope lost two Vils as well. Lots of idle time. Lots of awkwardness as he micros this. The scouts will definitely clear up the skirms. But if the skirms can take the archers out, the camels can take care of the rest. And Repard does a nice job here. Things got really messy here. Beautiful job. The camels, uh, camel edition was beautiful. And I feel like Hope would have wanted a bit more damage there, but Repard just a couple house walls. And also the camels actually changing the game. So now, if you're Repard, you're thinking your opponent doesn't have gold. That's actually not the case, because Hope has come forward here. And you might think your opponent doesn't have archers and scouts, but he's coming forward with more yet again. And so Repard trying to wall up, and then he gets hit right away. Repart also losing all of this to that single scout now. Hope focused down the archer, and now it's focusing down the skirms. Repart's going to find it very difficult to get those skirms home now. Wow. Okay, so normally, scout archer is superior to, like, scout skirmisher. In this case, it's camel scout and skirmisher, but still. Just because the archers contribute against the scouts more than the skirms will. That's the thinking. But the camels just do so much damage against the scouts. You can't take the fight in a normal way. If this is scout v scout, that is a easy clear up for Hope. In the end, Hope does clear it, actually. But he lost a lot. But, you know, you did kill a gold unit in the camel scout. It's not too bad. Repard 
Maybe he just wants time to get his walls down, which he's doing. He'll think about Castle Age. Hope thinking about the same. Resources collected. Repards ahead. He's also spent more, though. Because he made Camel Scouts, which they do take a long time to produce in Feudal. I, I like the fact he's made them because I thought it actually suited the situation, but... Like, he's got two in queue right now. It's taking a really long time. And then in Castle Age, when it's a Camel Rider, they produce faster. I don't think in a game like this, the Archer Armor is something you want to get, like, bent out of shape over. Like, uh, I, I understand that, okay, you could be like, oh, it could be up a little bit faster. This is a scrappy game. Bills have gone down. They're, you know, like, having additional upgrades just makes you feel more comfortable in taking fights. I, I think it's completely fine. Players are going to be up at pretty similar times. But again, the archers are a threat. And archers are very important now for Hope's chances. Because he can't be going knights with Magyars if there's Gurjara camels out there, right? So the archers have to be in the mix. Nice job from Rapard. He cannot tower. He sold his stone to get up. I prefer Hope's position right now with military. Military and timings. He also has a market, and he's got a ton on gold. And so does Rapard. But for Rapard, the gold situation is on a two-tile, not a four-tile. And again, the wood is just so awkward for him. I really do feel like Hope has just... He's taken advantage of the map, but he just has a better map as well. Let's be honest. There's just so much more wood here. But everything's exposed on the front, too. It's still a graveyards game. Mm. Cav archers. I think against camels and shravamshas, it's a bit risky. I think at the end of the day, 100 food is nothing when you've collected 11,000 resources. Getting Bodkin now. The one crossbow. May need to cancel a knight that he has in queue to get it. Yeah, there's the upgrade. These camels are immediately camel rider now. They're no longer camel scout. And the range units for Rapard, he's probably not planning on upgrading these. He wants these to kill this before the upgrades come in. That would be the ideal. That's not too bad. That's actually... He's probably going to end up killing these. He's clearly distracted, though, because he's getting hit over here now by Hope. Oh, man. He's going to drop a Monastery. Crossbow Knight. Such sick timing here from Hope. And the Monastery's denied. It's a Doubt Stary. It's a, it's a down monastery. Range units could maybe come back, but that's a lot of knights. And he finishes the monastery. Not doubt confirmed. It almost looks like hope. I want to boom. I want to see Rapard counterattack with the Shravamshas. Get the Shravamshas into Hope's eco. That would be annoying for hope. I hate the Shravamsha Rider. I... <laughs> Not a big, like, negative content guy. But if I were, I would be like, Top five units that I hate. <laughs> mm, Shravamshas are there for the crossbows. The feudal age range units come in as well. And Hope is going to lose these. He does try and use the crossbows against the monk, but Rapard micros to the side. And a beautiful hold there from Rapard. It felt like he could have been broken there. I think his eco is a wreck. I think the lack, on, the lack of food is going to be something he needs to fix. But that was very well done. To keep the monk alive as well, to use the feudal units was perfect. But it's seven on food for him, and he's trying to make camels. So yet again, for Rapard, it's going to be like primarily monks, I think, that are the key. And, well, that monk goes down. Can a monk heal himself? No, no, no. You can't heal yourself, but you can heal other monks. That would be crazy. Healing yourself. That would essentially be a Georgian scout. <laughs> and it can they can move while healing. Or I guess a berserk. Hope. Sitting on the front. Dropping a TC. I mean, this is the worst area of the map for him. He's going to lock that down. And he has knights. And these knights are probably going to head over to the wood line. What you're expecting, if you're Hope, is all the aggression, 
Like, all the army from Rapard right here, probably some monks healing things. And any aggression to come this way from the opponent as well. They both have a TC here now. This is what I meant earlier. Just like two Shravamshas running around is so annoying to track. Rapard hasn't overchopped yet. This is close enough where if Hope sees the tree is low on wood, he might back up. Okay, does he check it? Back up. Back up. Don't attack. Back up. Back up and sit here. Patience, my friend. Patience, Hope. Patience. He's fighting over here. He's going to attack the wall. Rapard might not notice this. Rapard is micering here. Both players have a big reason to be fighting here. Those are Magyar Knights. Mm, the TC and the crossbow fire helps Hope. And now Hope is in! And thank God he didn't listen to my advice. That's a killer right there. That's a killer. And Rapard didn't even win this fight. So it's not like Rapard won this fight. And he could be like, at least I have that. I mean, maybe this is close. But it still feels like it was pretty good engagement for, for Hope. And Rapard still hasn't noticed this. And Rapard's going to be down to 45 villagers here in a second. That's, that's going to be really brutal. Even another TC now for Hope. Rapard is still sending villagers here. And now he realizes. And you look back and you just see bodies. Ah, man, it just... Hope has done such a good job being active with his armies here. And again, it's like, initially, he wasn't very active at all. But in Castle Age, he did the same thing in another game. Castle Age, he actually doesn't have a lot of military numbers. The amount of value he gets from low numbers is really impressive. Knight comes this way. Guess that knight was converted. Actually, a couple knights were converted. Rapard's still keeping himself in this. But if he loses this game, we will go to a game five. See who moves on to the next round. I wonder what the bracket looks like and who they could potentially face next. Maybe someone could, could tell me. I keep wanting to check the sheep. I keep looking at the mini-map and just be like, oh, there's movement and it's sheep. I wish as a caster I could like scrub things from the mini-map. And remove it because there's also viewers as well that are like even if i remember it's cheap they're like t90 red's got units there you know like that's the worst if someone goes forward and builds like a house or something in someone's base and then people keep adding me calling me blind as i am i know that it's just a building big engagement needs to happen soon for repard counter attacks is a start hope wants to go for a forward castle on repard's face here he doesn't quite have the stone for it yet. But a castle here would end the game if it were to go up. Hmm. Monks are around for both. Rapard is five of them, though. And I have a lot more faith in Rapard as far as that's concerned. Rapard has no gold access, guys. This is his gold income here. He actually... I mean, he does have gold out here, but he's just not in a comfortable spot to take it. Also doesn't see this gold. Monks... Do not get conversions. We see plus two armor now for Rapard. That will affect his units, not the units he converted. And oh god, don't fight before plus two. I don't even know if plus two matters that much here, in all honesty. He's fighting before plus two. He does have monks, though, to maybe convert units to the other side. Hope would, wanna, would love a castle right now if he could. Rapard is holding. The camels are so strong with the Gajaras, plus the monks. Manganel. Fires. Oh, nice shot. Still, that's... Okay, kills a monk. That's better. Hope wants a TC. Uh, sorry, a castle. Hope is struggling, guys, to get his army count up. Rapard is still in this. He's also going to add a, an armored elephant to start taking up buildings. Hope is... He's a bit uncertain on what to make. Knights don't feel like a good option anymore. Crossbows are tricky if the opponent can mix in Shravamsha's or Siege. There's the Armored Elephant. Here comes the Shravamsha's. Only two monks for Hope. Villager's getting picked off. Hope is falling apart. It might be a defensive castle. It's, it's surely got to be a defensive castle now. Because this could, this could roll you. You need a castle far back here. Like, between the ranges, maybe 
Ah, it's so tricky. Rapart is only 10 villagers behind. And we have a counterattack from Hope. How does he do this? How does he do this? It's, it's smart. Because the knights are not helping you here. So he is going to raid with those knights. Rapard notices, but Rapard loses quite a few vills. Castle is here from Hope to protect that area. He's happy to still just fall back with crossbows here. And if you think about it, crossbows underneath TC is pretty good defense right now because we're not seeing any Megan Ls for Rapard. Dang. Someone's asking about pikemen. Pikemen are a bit tricky because you lack mobility. So I don't like pikemen for hope, especially because his resources are looking a bit awkward right now. I actually think crossbow gives you more value. Pikemen are going to get converted. Pikemen don't do any damage against monks. I think a combination of crossbow pike could be the plan. And we actually see the GG call because there's Magyar Hussar headed here. That's going to kill him. The raids that, that damaged Rapart here really had him struggling. Look, look at Rapart's resources. When you resign, it it uncues everything that you have queued. Which means his resources should look a lot higher than hopes, right? Because the player who still who like wins the game, the units stay in queue. Yeah, Rapard's got nothing. And majority of his army on the front was picked off. Armored elephants are still there, but the crossbows are gonna deal with this. And uh two two. I agree. I think that the Hope's map was way better. Like there was there was so much more wood to work with. I think Rapard was really unlucky there. I also think that Rapard had a lead in this game in Feudal Age, and he opted to wall with a map that is not really that wallable. And he gave Hope some time to figure out how to get some damage done. So I, I get looking at a map and saying that one player's map is better than the others, and maybe that's the case. But you do have to play your map at the end of the day. And just there was not a lot of aggression from Rapard. When, like, he had the scouts and the skirms, and he just, it took him so long to get over to Hope's base in Feudal. And by the time he got there, Hope was ready to push back. All right, so game five here. It's been a back and forth series between Rapard and Hope. Two up and coming players playing in the World Rumble qualifier. And as I've been saying, I really have been hydrating, been doing my best with that. And so uh, I'm going to give a lackluster intro and then get the crap out of here. It is a nine villager start in this tournament for uh, arena only just to speed things along so i don't want to miss any action we've got humans for hope i'm thinking this is going to be a second tc drop from hope humans almost always are going to take advantage of that at a high level you're on arena with the stone walls with the protection Rapard will have to find a way to punish those that uh that play and one of the best ways to punish that is a castle drop so now that i've said that uh, there are other bonuses we can discuss but i will be right back See you soon. All right, I'm back. Not trying to scare you, okay? <clears throat> I would like to point out, and I'm very proud, that in this instance, I left, okay? And we lost a couple viewers. Now, I'm proud of that because sometimes I come back and we've gained like 100 viewers and I'm kind of offended. So, uh... Yeah, maybe, maybe I should, honestly, that's a good business model. I should just have a bot which streams games and follows the scout, overviews the games with no commentary, and then I can just be sipping my ties on the beach somewhere. It'd be great. Would you guys subscribe to that channel? What do you think? Anybody? Big Bomber says he'd watch. There we go. We got to start somewhere. We got Big Bomber. We got D-Freaking. People are down. Cool. Only if there's hot tubs? Well, ask me in between games. I've got I've got something for you. Okay. Um, that sounds really weird if you don't know what I'm referring to. The second TC is gonna come up here for hope. Um, I think you do not want to build your TC in a position where it can be ranged by a castle or siege. So TC here makes sense. Okay, what if he tries to delete these walls now and he accidentally deletes his TC? I doubt that'll happen. But again, humans, you expect this. Only save that can build the second TC in Feudal. And uh, expect now bills, bills, bills. And lots of farms to come out eventually. 
Barracks for Repart. He loves his monks. So I could see him going like Spearman Monk and trying to go Spear Monk Siege and Siege pushing heavily instead of the Castle Drop. <laughs> I don't know what you're referring to. And yes, it sounded very weird. Okay, we have the time. Uh, basically, this is part of my Twitch contract, guys. So don't get upset. This is, this is the only way I got Twitch to respond to my emails. I know it's painful, but it got us off of Facebook. All right, it, it got it, it got me off of Facebook. So as long as they, it, luckily they responded. It was weird, you know. I was like, man, grassroots esports. I was one of your first thousand partners. We accomplished this and that. I think I can bring this and that to the table. Nothing, right? For months, even prior to Facebook, no one responded. But what I didn't think about was if I add a little bit of hot tub footage, will suddenly the moderators care? And it's amazing. It's just immediate. I'm getting a response from them. So happy to be back now. Why goggles? Listen, don't judge. All right. I'm experienced at this. If you don't know why I needed goggles, I, I don't even want to explain it. Scout goes down for a part. So now he's, he's going to be going out there in the dark. And he is going over to stone. And so this is going to be spears to protect and a castle drop. Actually, he has a stable as well. Ooh. Okay, I I hate that he doesn't have a market. I really think you're going to need a market to balance your eco here, but... Game five, let's go. <laughs> so, funny story. <laughs> the hot tub I was in, right? That was a friend's hot tub, but I had only met the guy, like, basically once. Here's how the story went, okay? So... He's a friend of mine now, but uh, I had met him at my buddy's wedding, and he was my buddy's wedding photographer. So I reached out to my buddy back home, because like here in Florida, no one has hot tubs, because it's like, it's pretty warm here. There's no reason to have one. I was going home <clears throat> um, to see family at some point, so I was like, let's make this a, a, a work trip, right? So I text my buddy, I was like, hey, uh, do you know anyone that has a hot tub? And he's like, uh, such and such does, who's the wedding photographer. He's like, you could ask him. So I was like, sure, give me his number. So I reached out to this guy. I only met him once. He was chill. And I called him. I was like, hey, you know what I do, right? He's like, yeah, you do the, you're a Twitch streamer, right? I was like, yeah. He's like, do you know, like, how people do, like, hot tub streams on Twitch? He's like, kinda. I was like, I don't do that, just to be clear. But I'm coming back to Twitch and I want to make a joke. And I heard you have a hot tub. Can I come over and bring a camera and some lights and record myself in your hot tub? And he was like, yeah, let's do it. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> he was chill. <laughs> but that's a very weird thing to request from someone you don't know that well. But so I hope you guys appreciate that that happened. All for the jokes, all for the content. He was giving me ideas. So what would happen is I would like record 30 seconds of me saying something stupid and he'd be like, oh, dude, you got to say this. You got to say that. You know, he was all in. You rented it, right? Or was it free? I mean, I brought him a case of beer and we had a good time, you know. For an hour, I recorded myself in the hot tub and then we just we just kind of hung out. But what a wild life I'm living. What a wild life. All right. So two TCs here for hope. Hope does not have stone back here. So he can't get a castle. Oh boy. He is on the way to Castle Age. There's a castle on his face. There's going to be Hussite wagons now. The eco for a part isn't great uh, as far as food economy goes. But it's enough to produce villagers for now. And he needs more on wood. And then he needs gold as well. He's going to break through. Now, if the Hussite wagons were able to break down a house, they would roll right underneath that TC, no problem. Those things don't take much damage from TC fire. There's going to be a siege workshop now from Repart. Wow, Repart is going in. 
But if Hope can just make a couple mangonels, he can defend from this first wave. I'm a little surprised Repart isn't going for a monastery, because I feel like having monks to convert the enemy siege would make sense. I really like how Repard, or sorry, how Hope made the Siege Workshop in Feudal. A lot of people forget you can do that with Ecumens. So this means immediately when he's in Castledge, he can make Mangonels. Again, no monks yet for Repard. And he just really wants to know what's back here and what could be coming. This is great. Town Watch and Outpost on both sides is really smart. Market from Hope just to block off this position for now. Outpost shows the barracks, so you might be thinking there's going to be stables back there then. And then Outpost here is going to show the Siege Workshop. That vision is insane. Villagers go down to the Mangonels. So four villager kills here for a part. Now, you know, maybe at a certain point, you may feel like you can just play a standard boom game. But right now, you don't feel that way against the humans. You need to kill a whole lot more. And there's Step Lancers being masked back here for Hope. Now, Hope doesn't exactly have the best food eco, though. He's got 22 on gold. Which isn't bad when you're in a pinch, but that's not going to allow him to produce that many Lancers. I really like the vision and how this can help the decision-making here for Repard. It's an awkward situation for Hope, but... Oh, man, Hope's so close. Hope is defended. Hope has collected 2,000 more resources. Humans are just insane on the back of this boom. Repard has had to invest so much into this push, and this is where I'm thinking, like, if you had monks to convert the siege right now, that would be so good. But Hope might aim to make Lancers to snipe those monks, but then there's the wagons to kill the Step Lancers. It's tricky. I also like taking down the outposts. I think that's a smart move as well, which is what Hope is doing right now. Redemption's on the way, and Sanctity's on the way. Basically, for one monk, there's only one monk on the field. How is he getting both techs at once? Oh, there's another monastery. Okay. You should not be getting relics right now if you're a part. This is the right play. I know they're tempting, but you need to make sure you have all your monks on deck. I hope. Actually going to escape. Hope could actually come out here with Vils. He's buying a castle. He's bought an entire castle. Actually, and then some. He's bought a lot more than that. Oh, and he's going to drop a castle here. Oh, God. Danger, 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 danger. I don't like it. Uh, Maybe I do like it. Oh, the mangonels were over here? So the pathing is awkward. Okay, well, usually what happens now is, is players will try and go imp to trap this down. I don't know if you can do that, though. This is still dangerous. That's a lot of gold you just invested into buying stone. The step lance, you still won't do anything for you. Your TC can still be taken out by the siege, and the monks can still convert your defensive siege. Eco for Repard? Pretty all in still, obviously. But the military? Very strong for Repard, and Hope can't say that. Hope has stopped producing Vils in hopes of going up to Imp. But I don't know, it just it feels like uh oh, uh oh, big moment. Monk. Oh. It's crazy, but if he snipes the monk there, he actually has a really good chance at clearing this. This is so close, man. It's been such a competitive series. Oh, man, look at Hope outside now on the stone. He might he might actually abandon his whole base. You, you got to defend this TC, though, right? Repart doesn't know about that stone. I like this for Repart. Yeah, just simplify your game. Simplify your game and make two trade carts? What? That's a misclick to queue up trade carts. I think Rapard is worried that he's going to be castle dropped right now. And so he's added a castle at home for that reason. I think like he's not seeing enough here and he thinks there's Vils on the way to castle drop him. He's thinking like six steps ahead though. Because I think it will happen. It just won't happen yet. PC will go down. Repart is going to start booming. 
Okay, I actually think Rapard is thinking I will lose my castle to a fast imp. I just need to catch up in the meantime. Nice job from Hope. Finally kills a monk. Can kill some vills. Rapard's still pushing here, though. Hope, like, if Hope's gonna go imp, it's that TC. This is not a great situation. Oh, wait! He's making a new TC to go imp in. What? Big shots on the wagons from the siege. The monks are now locked in to convert. That's funny. He's going in in the middle of the map. And he's repairing this TC. Step Lancers and Scouts can't easily kill the monks if the wagons are here. If the wagons receive another shot, though, maybe that could change. Can't wait for Hope to drop that forward castle. He's going to do it, dude. He, he's going to drop a castle here. He's got, he's got to. I mean, or you could just drop a castle, like, here. If you're really worried about this TC, you could drop a castle here. That actually is probably the most realistic approach. It's just not chaotic enough for me, and I like chaos, so. Mm. Scout won't be enough. The wagons will kill that. Manganel could still be converted. Oh, man. Oh, he gets one. Is he panicked enough? Here come the Vils! Here come the Vils! Wow, this could be epic, because if he breaks through, he can then trep down Rapard from here. Rapard's never making it to Imp at this rate. But, like, Hope's got to keep his Vils alive somehow. Hope could lose everything to this attack if he doesn't keep his, his TC up. He's keeping his TC up. There's the castle. Hope's going to be an Imp. Rapard now realizing this guy's gone out, you know, elsewhere. So I've got to be over here. I wonder, it would be crazy if Rapard tries to leave the castle drop here and runs into the castle from his opponent. Hmm. Love how Rapard's out of the monastery here for more monks. What is this game? What is this game? All right. Basically, the only thing you gain from this is treps. So, but if you take care of the castle, you can take care of the monastery. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Rapard. Rapard's like, yeah, where are you going to go, bud? Where are you going to go with your vills? You going back there? I'm ready for you. Go ahead. I'm wait. I I'm ready. This is hilarious. He's got a completely surrounded. Sneaky move from Hope, though. Boom. Oh, what a big shot. That's actually sick. That's sick. That's sick. Ooh. Okay. Hope can treb this castle down. Hope can treb this castle down. Man, what a great job from Hope to keep his vills alive. They have not been efficient, but they've been alive. It's just so funny. He doesn't have food to, like, make stuff for the monks. At least not yet. Wow, Rapard actually snuck out this way. But Rapard's going to lose all of his castles, which means no more wagons. Vill count is even now, though. Wow. There is a monk. Every time there's wagons, there's always monks for Rapard, I'm noticing, which is what you want. I just don't know. Like, I've been to Rapard's shoes before. It's really hard to calmly farm as everything is getting treads down. Oh, God. The Vills are rushing. The Vills are rushing. The Vills are rushing. Villagers. Help out. Also, will Rapard have pop space soon? Casa will go down. Casa will go down. And actually, I really like the idea of Hope making Kip checks. Because it's like, you have heavy wood gold eco. You don't really have the food. You have two castles. It makes sense to make more Kip checks. Castle will go down. Monastery, mining camp, all of that as well. And then, then Hope can push. He's going to take the gate down. Once he gets in, he will see another castle. Rapard needs an answer. Can Rapard answer this? He has the villager lead. The nice thing is the Kiptek's not the strongest unit ever. So in theory, you could still use monks to convert stuff. I actually like, like, Skirm Pike monk. I, as weird as it sounds, maybe you try that. I think Hope's going to win this game. How? Uh, I don't, I'll never know. It's just humans, man. Just the amount of resources you collect and his stubbornness. He lost his starting TC. He lost his main gold. 
He's almost out of gold in his base. This forward castle was such a good play. Couldn't a few knights have taken care from Siege from, from Thought? He didn't have food eco. He didn't have food eco. Players are going to see the knights. They added their own monk. Like, knights... The siege was always protected by a TC or a castle. That's the problem. So, no, knights wouldn't have really done much. Not... Like, hope would have been able to adapt to it. Wow, so we're part's going to try imp. Wagons are great against kipchaks, by the way. At least I think they are. They should be. Yeah. I mean, kipchaks are 40 HP. Bloodlines would need to come in here for hope. Repard needs to use one of these back TCs. New TC for hope. He's still producing vills. I expect him to catch up. Imp is on the way. Which TC? This TC. And hope wants to drop another freaking castle. There is a chance, though, guys, that Repard can convert these two mangoes, and these two mangoes immediately kill the Trebs or the Kipchaks. There's a very good chance of that. Kind of crazy, but Rapard's going to have gold problems. He needs to leave his base for gold soon. The scout goes in, trying to kill the monk. That won't happen. You need light cab upgrade and more than that. And here comes the castle creep. Castle creep from hope. But just protects the trebs. That's what he wants his castle for, is to protect the trebs. And then he can treb down Rapard's castle. Rapard's in trouble. You attack the Vils, you're not attacking the Kipchaks. But, 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 Kipchaks are so weak. The monks, though, get taken out of the picture. And now the Manganels go boom. And Hope's going to win this game. Beautiful stuff from Hope. I know it's still looking awkward for him in some ways with the Vil count. But still a minute away from Imp is Rapard. And his whole base is going to be trebbed down soon. What a sick job from Hope. He was down 2-1. Remember how crazy that game was on Pilgrims, right? That he lost. Put Rapard up 2-1. Rapard had all the momentum. But Hope is just so good. He's sneaky good. I, again, I just... Like, the amount of times I've lost to him, and I'm just like, how did he get away with that? How did he figure that out? How did I not kill him? This is a great example of his resilience. Love the activity on the outside as he's realizing that Rapard's really going to need gold. And my mouse died. Oh, my freaking god. <sighs> I, t I forgot to charge. Okay. I can't change the zoom level. We're just going to do this now. Epic game five. All right. It doesn't... It doesn't eliminate the epicness of this moment. Bloodlines has come in for hope, so his Kiptex are a bit stronger. Where's my charging cord? Uh, I don't know if I have one up here. Uh, big moment, guys. Big moment. But how is Rapard supposed to deal with the Trebs? Well, the answer is Bombard Cannons. Oh, man. These wagons continue to get destroyed. A forward TC? Okay, he wants that gold. He's TC dropping now. He snipes the monks. He's, it's a TC actually makes sense. I know it looks silly, but it actually makes sense. You can hop in and out of the TC with your bills. And it is near the gold. Monks could get more upgrades here for Rapard, but he just every time I see a monk, I see it getting sniped by Kipchaks here. And hope is no shortage of castles to make more Kipchaks. I think Hope might even just need... Even just Light Cav at this stage. Light Cav alone could be okay. And, uh, uh, one sec. Okay. <clears throat> Mouse is charging. <laughs> um, Light Cav's on the way for Hope, and his food eco should be getting a bit better now. And uh, I got to say for Rapard, what a fight for him. The population still looks decent. You, have, you always want to fight in these positions. It's the last game. It's been a crazy one. It's really hard to judge these situations to truly know what's happening. But the Bombard Cannon goes down. That's expensive. And he calls the NN. Which is, of course, the GG. Now, I don't... <laughs> 
I I'm stuck. <laughs> um, I might have, you know, maybe I have like a minute of battery now to be able to go back. And um, we are going to look at the statistics here. One second. Um, I'm pretty sure the NN, there we go. Nice. I'm pretty sure the NN is uh, is a keyboard thing, right? I think he tried to call the GG reparts from Russia. I think that's part of it. Look at the resources collected here. Crazy. Resources collected. Um, identical. It really, like, the trades, the, everything was fairly close as well. It just felt like the timings, right? Like the trebs that Hope got affected this game so much. Uh, I could show you here. Dealt 40,000 damage. And um, I mean, it just took out that entire push. As for what Rapard could do differently, I, I think he just needs to take out TCs faster, right? Like maybe he needs to take out TCs faster. Maybe a couple wagons patrolling through the middle to stop the forward castle. But I just think it was an epic game. And Hope was able to make the job, get the job done. Rapard wins 3-2. Uh, sorry, no, Hope wins 3-2. God, I, I just completely ruined the, the whole series with the outro here. But seriously, it was a great series and Hope moves on. Uh, well played to him. Again, like, Hope has a way of just staying alive in games. And he's very diverse in strategy. I would not consider him an arena player. Rapard's more of an arena player. And still he was able to, to win this one. And like, this is just, at a certain point here, you're just going on instinct. You're not even going on experience. And the instinct was there for him when the going got rough. Okay, so. Um, wow, great series. Let's just pull up quickly the bracket here see what would be next for hope uh guys i encourage you if you want to look at the information uh shout out to the host or anything you can use the w rumble command um i don't know how many people here speak french ogn does cast in french but this is his initiative this is his event um uh, looking now okay so hope is going to be up against the winner of syscon and fire here i'll bring it up now so in this quality, I mean, I think Hope could definitely beat Syscon or Fire. I have Syscon uh, maybe as the favorite over Fire. That's maybe as a favorite over Fire. I'm not entirely sure. I think Fire Syscon should be pretty close. And there you can see some of the other results that have happened. Uh, Classic Pro Ozone hasn't been covered yet. Fire Syscon hasn't been covered yet. Draken Deeker hasn't been covered yet. Daniel Cosmonaut, Lucky Z40. We're still missing those sets. And then I think uh, the sets in round two, I think they happen next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or something along those lines. So, um, but yeah, good stuff.